All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you all and give everybody a chance to get in. And I'm actually gonna start at 7.34 and just go. Cause I wanna do a quick review of yesterday since I did not record it or I did record it said there was an error or I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna um, let everybody in. Everybody's muted. Uh, and I'm gonna start in three minutes and I'm gonna review yesterday, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna get started on macros. And tomorrow is more macros. Tomorrow's earlier though. I think tomorrow's meeting is at 6 p.m. Because then we have a 7 p.m. weekly meeting. I always give it three to four minutes once the meeting starts because people are running to their computers usually. All right, another minute and we are getting started. All right, so I am gonna um, go over just all my, point, <clears throat> all my points from yesterday's meeting. I'm not gonna give stories. I'm not gonna go off on tangents or anything like that like I did yesterday and be funny like I was yesterday. I'm just gonna rattle them off. Um, and then when we get to macros, then I'll be funny again. I'll try to anyway. A lot of the stuff I'm telling you, by the way, is in the ebook. So it is super important that you use that. Okay, so we are getting started. Welcome to Shred into 2022. Um, yesterday's meeting was more housekeeping. Um, it was a welcome meeting and I did not record it. I don't know what happened. I've been doing this for years. I don't know what went wrong. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is hit on all the points I made yesterday. So first thing is ebook. You are all in the ebook group. It is your priority, your prerogative, and number one to get that ebook, download it, and read through it. Skim through it. I don't care what you do. But if you ask me a question and it's in the ebook, I am going to revert you to the ebook. Um, you guys are in a bunch of groups. I have not added anybody into the sample meal plan group, the recipe group, um, all the macro groups. Nobody is in yet because you guys aren't tracking yet. Um, tomorrow night after the next meeting, next macros meeting, I'll be adding you all to that. All meetings are on this Zoom link, never changes, always through and through, whether it's a workout, whether it's a meeting, it's all the same Zoom link. If you looked at your goal and you said, wait, my goal should be 50 pounds less, everybody gets 10 pound increments. It's easy to manage. It's more attainable. It's exciting every time you hit 10 pounds. Um, you get a shout out, you get a new goal, and that's why it's all 10 pounds. So don't freak out. Um, once again, I'm running through these quick. There are weigh-ins every single Monday and they are required. If you cannot do it for one reason or another, reach out to me 
and I will make sure that we talk and figure out another day. Um, wait, uh, photos every other week, and that is because with macros, some weeks you are losing weight, some weeks you are losing inches. And if you are lifting or strength training, your weight will not move. Muscle and fat weigh the same. So you're gonna see it more in pictures than you will on the scale. And we have a whole meeting about that separate. Um, everybody should have their macros, meaning their proteins, their carbs, your fats, which we're gonna talk about today. Uh, you got it in your app under meal plans, which is a fork and knife picture on your dashboard. And I emailed it to you. So either place you have it, and it's a 17 page report. It's about you, it's customized. Nobody else's report is the same. Um, one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna say it a hundred million times. You are here for a reason and it's because what you were doing or what you're doing now is not working. So give this a chance, trust the process. I've been doing this a long time. I have over, over, over a thousand people that have transformed. Um, and people that have been with me for years, people that come back to me because they know it works. So trust the process. Um, if you have an Apple Watch, my app syncs to Apple Watch. Your, your steps, your exercise, as well as you could see on the face of your watch, your macros, your proteins, your carbs, your fats, and what's left for the day at your watch if you wanted to. You don't have to, but it's something, it's an option. So if you have an iWatch, you're gonna be messaging me. I'm going to send you the link on how to connect it all. And then I'm going to add you to the iWatch group. Um, there are so many groups. You don't even see half of them. If there's a group that does not pertain to you that I add you to, let me know. There's a sushi cheat sheet group, fast food cheat sheet group. There are so many cheat sheet groups. If there's a group that you don't eat sushi, I'll take you out of it. If I put you in the alcohol calculations group and you don't drink, I'll take you out of it. So keep that in mind as I start adding you to groups, just message me and be like, hey, Shannon, you can take me out of sushi. I won't eat sushi. Um, there are no restrictions. Please do not message me and ask you what you can eat. If I tell you what to eat, you're going to do it for a week. And the next day you're going to be like, I am not eating this anymore. This is bullshit. And you're going to binge and then it doesn't work. So you are learning how to eat what you like to eat in moderation and adding in things if you want to have an Oreo or if you want to go out and have a cheeseburger. You can do all that because I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Um, whew, I feel like I'm talking fast. So the food scale, you don't need a food scale. If you look in your 17 page report, it shows you your hand, your pinky, your thumb. Those are all measurements. You can get a food scale. If that makes you comfortable and you are OCD, by all means, go get a food scale. But you're not gonna take a food scale with you to a restaurant and you're not gonna take a food scale with you on vacation. And probably in seven weeks, you're gonna be like, screw this food scale. So up to you if you want to. I have someone in here, Danielle. She's been using the food scale over a year and a half, I think. She's lost over 50 pounds. It works for her. She takes it everywhere. I will never tell you not to do that. Um, remember, this is not one-on-one, -on -one, but it kind of is. I'm not going to sit with you on the telephone or a private Zoom, but I will message you back and forth all day long and talk about your program if you need to. Um, if it's something that I feel like talked about over and over again, I will let you know that. Um, my style of coaching is I have no filter. I've been there. I get it. I've lost a hundred pounds and it can be done. So when you message me and say, I can't do this, it's too much. I've tried bullshit. You didn't try hard enough because it can be done. Um, and I will work with you on how to do that. If you are new, you received your first email from me in that email, there was a call to action. If you have not done the call to action, that tells me you did not read the email. And that's why I put the call to action in there. I'm not going to say what it is, because if you message me something, you know you did it. So done with that. All right. We are moving on. <sighs> okay. Housekeeping's done. Welcome is done. We're going to talk macros. How many of you have cut out carbs at one time in your life or lowered your carbs? Now put your hands down. How many times have you done that with fats? Okay, so here's the deal. You have to have proteins, carbs, and fats in your day every single day. Protein is a natural appetite suppressant and it burns fat. Carbs gives you your energy and fats helps with your hair, skin, and nails. If you've been on keto or you've been on one of those other bullshit diets, 
you will notice you're cutting out something and something will be sacrificed. Your hair will start to fall out. You'll, your pee will be, you're going to go into ketosis, which is not good for your body, just so you know. Um, those are all bad things. And that's because you're cutting out something that your body needs. You need proteins, you need carbs, you need fats. Nobody in here is on a high protein diet. Nobody in here is on a low carb and nobody in here is on a low fat or high fat like keto. You are all on a program where everything is pretty neutral, higher protein, a little bit less carbs. And of course you don't need as much fat. Um, please don't message me and tell me you're on a high protein diet. You're not. Nobody's on a diet, first of all. And nobody is over 40% protein. Anything over 40% is considered, or 45 to 55 is considered high protein. And nobody is on that. Not one person in my app out of 157 people are on a high protein program. So please don't message me about that. Nobody's on high carbs and nobody's on low fats. Everybody is the percentage you are on is for body fat loss. Danae, what the hell are you doing? You're like, I'm here three times now. Okay. So everybody has macros. I mean, everybody has proteins, everybody has carbs, everybody has fats. When you, I give you your numbers and you're looking at your app, and you go to your dashboard, and I want everybody to go to their dashboard. When you're looking at, I'm just pulling up um, somebody's dashboard. I'm gonna pull up my sister's. You guys are gonna hear me talk a lot about my sister because she has known me for my entire life, obviously. And she just decided to join my tribe two seconds ago and she's already down 30 something pounds. So you'll hear me talk about her all the time. She's a rock star. Okay. So when you're looking at your dash, it's coming up, you see those, um, your four circles? Everybody see your four circles? You all have them, right? On your dash. Yours might be white because you haven't started logging yet. Or if you were playing with it, you might see blue, you might see red. This circle right here doesn't really mean anything to me because this could be, you could be 20 off of your macros, but it's still gonna be yellow because you hit 20% of what I told you to do. So when you click on the circles, you guys won't see anything. I can see all your food that you're eating because you synced it to my app. So that's Fitness Pal, I mean, uh, my, my um, Fitbit, but it's on my app. So I can see everything you guys are eating. And then swipe over, scroll up, and you see where it says calories. And then you see all the way to the end, the negative numbers or the yellow numbers. That's where I look, and that's where you're going to look to see if you hit your macros. And it's 10 grams over under is your allowance. So let's say... I tell you, you have to eat 150 proteins a day, grams of protein a day, and you are at 136. That is 14 under, which means you need to eat more protein. Let's say you're at eight left. You're good. You're underneath the 10 allowance. That 10 allowance is not negotiable. It's 10 over or 10 under or within that range for proteins and carbs. For fats, it's four to six. It's a tighter percentage, a tighter gram differential that you can hit. So what I want you to think about is we're going to use a really low calorie amount just because I can use do math better. You have a 1200 calorie day. I gave you 1200 calories to eat. Nobody has 1200 calories. That's starving yourself. But you have a 1200 calorie day. In that 1200 calorie day, that is your budget for the day, right? You have 150 macro, uh, 150 proteins, 140 carbs, and 40 fats. That all equates to that 1,200 calories I just told you about. They all balance out, and you'll read that in your ebook, that your macros equal your calories. 
So your daily budget is at 1,200 calories. And if you were to eat all your food, you would hit your daily budget. Think about your household budget. Let's say you have $10,000 in income coming in every month and you pay your mortgage and you pay your car payments and you pay your insurance and whatever is left, you get to use for your hair, your skin, your nails, your clothes, whatever. Same thing with your daily budget of food. You have 1200 calories, use the bulk of it for your big meals. I never say breakfast, lunch, dinner because some people don't do that, but your big meals. And then the rest you fill it in. You have to think about your food as a daily budget that you want to stay within the guides. If Even if you do 10 over on your proteins and 10 over on your carbs and your calories are over, it's okay. I have allowed for that. You're allowed 10, 10, and four to six. Does everybody understand that? Okay. I see a couple of people nodding. So I'm going to say that's a yes. When you are tracking food, you should be tracking ahead of time before it hits your mouth. So if there's food that you know you eat every day, that needs to go in your app the night before or the morning of. If you watched the food video that's in everybody's profile, you will see, I'll pull out food from my cabinet. It's underneath your workouts. Um, it's a Zoom. It's also on the YouTube channel. Um, you will see that I'm a creature of habit. I eat the same stuff every day. I do it all the time. I do it every day. So I have it already built into my app. I copy and paste it for the week. I know I'm going to have it every single day. That's how I prepare. And I'm able to put in other foods that I know I might want. Or if I don't have the room for it in my budget, I know I have to pull out one of my staples. That's where it's kind of like Tetris because you got to move the pieces around, put something in, take it out for it to hit. It becomes super fun after you've done it a while, but the first two weeks, it is going to suck. You're going to hate it. It's going to be overwhelming. You're going to be stressed. You're going to message me like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I can't hit this. And I'm going to look at your numbers and I'm going to say, take away one of those egg whites, add this, add that, and you'll hit your numbers. You're going to be like, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? but you will start to think like that. It'll take time, but the most important thing is preparing and planning ahead of time. So if you um, wake up and you have in your main things that you're doing for breakfast, and then you go to lunch and you eat your burger and fries and decide you're gonna put it after, you're probably screwing yourself and you're not gonna have any fats or any carbs left for the rest of the day. And then what are you gonna do? you're screwed. So you have to put it in ahead of time. So you can see if you even have it in your budget allowable to eat. Maybe you can't eat all the French fries, but maybe, maybe you put in 24 fries and it puts you over. And then you go in and you change it again to 12 and you're like, oh, I hit it. Awesome. That's how you manipulate your numbers to work for you for your macros. Um, there are times in the morning I'll put in, um, I know that sweet potatoes, french fries, the bag, the Lexa bags. Um, I know that 13 is a serving. So I would put that in my app, but I always put two, two servings as like a placeholder because I want 26 of them. And then as the day progresses, if I find that I want to have more carbs, maybe I'm hungry and I want to have a slice of bread or something, I can pull out. 13 of those and only have one serving at dinner. Or at the end of the day, I have carbs left, I might bump it up. Or I might add something in. But as if you're progressing through the day, you'll be able to see it clearly. If you wait till the end of the day to put all the food in that you ate, you're screwed. You'll never hit your macros. I've had people say, well, I write it all down on a piece of paper because I can't, I don't have time to do it during the day. And when I get home at seven o'clock, I add it in and I can't figure out why I still have to eat 47 proteins and 84 carbs and 19 fats. What should I do? I'm like you're basically eating your day now. So you need to make sure that you're not putting yourself in that position. And we are going to work together on doing that. Um, when we talk about um, alcohol is usually the number one question I get 
about macros because everybody wants to know how to do alcohol. I want everybody to hear this very clearly. Truly's White Claw, red wine, tequila, whiskey, Tito's, Bud Light, Michelob, Michelob Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Diet, Ultra, Ultra, whatever it is, beer is all the same. Don't anybody ever tell you different. Don't think that you're having a Tito's because it's better than a glass of wine. If the calories are different, it is. So let's say you have a glass of wine and it's 90 calories. Usually wine's 70, but we'll go with 90. Actually, we'll go with 70. Let's say your wine is 70 calories. You're, oh, you're so sweet. Okay, sorry, had a baby moment. And he's just like resting on you. Okay, so let's say your um, wine is 70 calories. You have to decide, is this a fat or a carb? That's the only options you have. There's no such thing as freaking protein and alcohol. Don't look at a can and send me a picture of it and say it's in there. I don't care. The FDA does not require alcohol to be done the way we think it should be done. They do it so that you drink it. So if you have 70 calories and you want to use it for carbs, you're going to divide it by four because every carb is four. If you want to use it as fats, it's nine. If you want to split it, you can split it. I'm trying to think of a number that divides by four and nine so I can do the math. Um, really, there's nothing pretty much. Um, so anyway, you want to do that. So let's say it's 90 calories, right? Divided by four, four divided by nine is what? 23, 24, 24 grams of carbs. That's how much it costs for you to have that glass of wine. If you want to use your fats, it's going to cost you 11 or 12. You decide if it's worth it to you. And I'm not going to lie to you. On Fridays and Saturdays, I put in two to three glasses of wine in the beginning of the morning. I don't drink them, but I wait till the evening as a placeholder, at least two glasses, because I know Friday and Saturday nights, that's what I want. That's like 30 carbs for me for everybody. So it's worth it for me to give up something during the day on a Friday. I don't drink during the week um, on a Friday or a Saturday to have those beverages. Um, if you know that that's the type of person you are and you have a glass of wine every single night, you put that in your app in the morning, take it out right away. If you don't, you can't have it if it's not there. That's where I said, there's no restrictions, there's limitations. If you don't put it in your budget and there's no room left in your budget for the day, you don't get it. Everybody got that? Okay. So super important. And then um, there's a group, if you want, I'm going to add everybody to it tonight so you can read about it. That is called the alcohol calculation group because I was answering the question so many times. It was easier just to do it that way. If you don't want to be in that group, let me know. Um, when you are drinking your water and you're putting it in your app, you're ticking it off for your habits, crystal light counts, because I was getting that question, crystal light counts, coffee counts, tea counts. Putting it in your protein powder does not count. It now has calories. Best thing to do is to drink your water whether it be bubblies or any of those things, it's fine. Um, you could put meal drops. I'm taking a piece of gum, sorry. You could do meal drops, any of those things, it's fine. Okay, back to macros. When you are putting in your macros, whether you're using Fitbit or MyFitnessPal, Fitbit will automatically sync to my app. MyFitnessPal, you have to manually sync it a lot of the times. But I will see everything you're putting in. So starting on Thursday at two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to put a message in your group and say, who's ready for me to check your macros for the day? And at that point, I should see a lot of people messaging me. 
and saying, I'm ready for you to review my macros because you put in the majority, 90% of the food is already in your app for the day. Thursday and Friday are practice days that I'll review. Saturday and Sunday, you're gonna play with the app and Monday, every single day, I'm gonna say do the same thing, but now you're gonna be in the group with all other 130 people that are in the app. And I'll do a post and I'll say, hey, who needs their macros checked? And you're gonna do the same thing. And I have one girl that I've done, been doing, I've checked her macros every day for the past three sessions, that's 21 weeks. That's over five months that I check her numbers every single day, her food, every day. If you need me to do that for you, I will do that every single day. My sister on Sundays does her full week of macros every day for a week and has me review her food on Sundays for the entire week. I don't know how she does that. I've been doing this for years and I can't do that. Um, but like I said, she's OCD. So remember that you are not doing this alone. I will help you hit your numbers. It might not happen this week. It won't happen this week. It might not happen next week, but it will happen. And you're going to be like, oh my God, this is so awesome. And you'll start sending me your picture of your macros. And I'll say, Mariah, I already see them. You don't have to send it to me, but you get so excited that you have to show me that you hit it, which is awesome. I think it's great. You will also see, I'll be adding you to this group. It's called Nutrition Shoutouts. My app will automatically know when you hit your macros and it will give you a shout out and say, April Lyon hit her nutrition goal yesterday. It'll go through Allison Waller hit her nutrition goal and it goes through everybody. And you're going to see all the names of everybody hit their macros. And at the end of the day, I'm going to say, if you do not see your name on this list, we need to have a conversation because I want everybody's name to be on that list. And it's amazing when you see all the names, just like it's amazing when you see everybody's transformations, the pictures and stuff. Um, so let me go over a couple of things. Planning ahead, we talked about it. Next thing is you want to bulk up your meals. We are so used to four to six ounces of protein at a meal, you will never hit your macros. You need two chicken breasts. You need... Eight, six to eight ounces of deli meat, which is six to eight slices. Not putting two slices of turkey on a sandwich anymore. Putting six, putting seven. It's a big ass sandwich, but it will fill you up and it will help you hit your macros. If you watch my food video, I tell you a trick, a hint or a hack. I go to Publix and I buy two pounds of chicken breast and I ask them to put a slice of paper in between every six ounces. And I get home and it's already done. All I like to do is pull it out and it's already six ounces, I'm good to go. But usually rule of thumb is one piece is one ounce. Same thing with American cheese. It takes up a lot of fat, keep that in mind. Um, so you always wanna do six to eight ounces of every meal, protein. Always have healthy food in your refrigerator, in your pantry. Go back into the YouTube channel and look for Shred Tribe, Share and Tell, uh, Show and Tell, Fave Finds. I'm gonna, I posted them in the group, but if, if you scroll up, you'll see them in your main group. Um, but if you just go to the YouTube channel, there's meetings after meetings after meetings after meetings. You don't have to watch them. You can listen to them like a podcast. April and I talked about it this morning as well. Um, I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to myself either though, but I listen to podcasts all the time I'm in my car. I don't remember the last time I had a radio station on in my car. I listen to um, NASM, which is the certification I have for personal training. They have a podcast. I listen to macros podcasts. There's hundreds of them. If you just put my Zoom on, just listen. You don't have to watch me. There's nothing to see. I just talk. Um, and there's the only video you need to watch is that show and tell one and that my, my kitchen where I start pulling out of stuff out of my house, out of my kitchen. Plan a day and then see if you can copy and paste it or what of those items you can pull over and copy and paste into your next week or your next day. Remember that 
Yes, you need carbs, but if you're going to eat fruit, be mindful of the fruit you're eating. A banana has anywhere between 50, oh, 25 and 50 carbs, depending on the size of the banana. If you're good with putting a full banana in your protein shake in the morning and knowing that that's probably a third of your carbs for the day, go for it. I would suggest have a banana. See how your day goes. If you see that you need to get hit carbs by the end of the day, but go back up to the um, full banana. The only fruit that I always tell people they should have on hand are berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. Those are great. Apples are, even though they're a good carb, they are carbs. Carbs count as carbs. Fats count as fats. Don't message me and ask me about net anything. There's no such thing. If you ask me about net, I'm going to think you're doing keto and I'm going to ask you to leave the program and I'll refund you. I've done it. You can ask everybody tomorrow night in the meeting. I have refunded plenty of money because I don't want that in the program. Um, prepare your meals a day in advance. Oh, today was driving me insane. I think people were weighing themselves every day. And it's only Wednesday or no, it's only Tuesday. I saw weighing Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and this morning. Please don't do that. It'll drive me bonkers. If you want to weigh yourself, don't put it in the app. The only days you get to put in the app are Mondays and your accountability on Friday if you want to do it. That is your option. You don't have to do accountability weigh-ins. Um, keep in mind, avocado, salmon, um, sea bass, and branzino are very fatty fish and avocados fat 100%. So yes, you can have it, but watch, put it in your app as you proceed through the day. If you know you're making salmon at night for the family, put it in the morning because it's going to take a chunk of your fats out during the day. Um, don't forget the 10 over or under your macros and four to six if it's fats. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk more about um, when you're logging it and recipes and using the crock pot. And any questions that I get in, I'm going to address those at six o'clock tomorrow. Um, I only have four minutes left before this is going to run out. I just want to go through my notes and make sure I didn't miss anything that I wanted to talk about. Oh, if you are messaging me about tracking or anything, I'm not answering them yet because tomorrow night I'm going to answer questions. And then starting Thursday, when you guys start tracking, I'll answer questions at that point. But it's too premature right now because you don't, you didn't even know anything about anything with macros. Um, so if you have questions, make sure you send them to me before the meeting at six o'clock tomorrow. You can send it to me at 558 if you want. I'll use those. Your shred chai group that you're in right now is your hub. That is where I will post all the important information. Next Monday, Monday coming up, the third, it goes away. And you will be put into the important announcements group where everybody is in it. Um, I say that I usually leave it up for a little bit, actually, just so you guys can ask questions if you need to away from all the other people. Um, remember, you're making this a lifestyle. This is not a diet. It is not a short term fix. And it is your new way of life. Anything you do, do not think to yourself, um, I would normally not eat this, but I'm going to eat it. Because you're not going to eat it when you're done. So why would you eat it while you're doing it? Um, get organized. Structure your eating every day. And it will help structure your life. And it will help you feel less stress tracking your macros. Um, portion control is super crucial when you're tracking macros, which is why I tell you to track it first. Because you might not be able to have that portion that's in there that you put in. But you might be able to have a little bit less or you might be able to have a little bit more. It amazes people when I see they only have a quarter cup of rice and I reach out and I'm like, you need to have a half a cup of rice. And they're like, I do? I'm always like, yep, you got to hit those carbs. You're not going to hit it with a quarter of a cup. So play with those numbers. Um, leave food on your plate if you need to. Don't force yourself to eat it. Walk away and then come back. You have to finish it, but not at that same time. I tell a story how I had this big bowl of food and I'm sure Allison remembers my big bowl of food. Um, I had, a, this was years ago. I had to walk away from the table, do laundry, come back, finish it. Walk away, clean the dishes, come back and finish it. 
tears running down my face, but I was getting in my macros. And it, um, I have my big bowl, it's broccoli and usually chicken or fish or something. And I get it all in there. I just mix it all up together. It's just how I am. Um, never feel de deprived because feeling starved or something you want will lead to binging. So if there's something you want to have, put it in and make sure you have room in your budget. If it's not today, it's tomorrow. Eat slowly. Enjoy your food. Remember, food is not a punishment. Enjoy it. You shouldn't love your food. I mean, I'm not a foodie, but I do love food. Um, you have to move. You have to exercise mentally. I mean, um, we have people in the group that had surgery and stuff like that. They can't move. So I changed their macros. But those 10,000 steps that everybody has, that is non-negotiable. And if you're having a hard time getting there, you need to tell me, depending on your job, I can lower it. If you sit at a desk at home, that is not a reason why you can't get your steps. Sorry, get up, walk around your desk, walk around your house, do it every hour, give yourself a breather. You need it mentally for three minutes and sit back down. Your eye watch will tell you it's time to stand up. Listen to it. Um, a lot of people can't. If you're a massage therapist and you're standing at a table all day and you're doing massages, I know you're not going to get your steps in. I will lower them. Certain things I will lower because you're standing at a table. You can't walk around the table a hundred million times. Do drive your clients insane. Um, but I won't take them away. I'll just make them 8,000. You still have to get to a point. Eventually you're going to go up to 10,000. It's, 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 a health department requirement, really advisory. Um, and you need to get enough sleep. One of the main reasons why people do not lose weight is they're not getting sleep. So you need to get your sleep in, whether you're getting a nap during the day or you're getting your six to eight hours at night, you need to make that priority. Um, I used to not, and now I do go to bed between nine and 10 religiously. Um, depending on the night, but it's super important. And I take naps. I'm a big napper. I nap almost every day. Um, so those are the things you want to really focus on. If you have a good sleep pattern, it will help your metabolism. And each meeting this week or this session, we talk about metabolism and we talk about over-exercising. And there's so many topics and you'll see them if you go to the YouTube channel. You have so much, so many tools at, at your fingertips use that. Most importantly, you are paying me to coach you. Use me. Don't abuse me by asking questions over and over again, because I'm not going to answer them. Or if I just answered it in a Zoom or something else, I'm going to say, you need to watch the Zoom. That's why they're here. That's why I do them. Um, okay. Anybody have any questions before I end this meeting? Okay, awesome. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I went over all the things. Oh, I just want to say one more thing. For the meeting yesterday about Fitbit and My Fitness Pal. Fitbit is syncs, it's seamless. My, my, uh, my Fitness Pal, you have to do it manually right now because there's things going on with My Fitness Pal. It has nothing to do with my app. I don't care which one you choose, but it's up to you which one you choose. I need to know which one you do so I can make it effective in my at my end. So you get a shout out. If, you, if, I, if, it's, if it doesn't know, you won't get a shout out. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. Um, if you think of any questions before tomorrow at 6 p.m., reach out to me. I'll be talking about other stuff tomorrow night. I will not repeating anything, be repeating anything, or I might because I just talk. But there'll be new information tomorrow night at 6 p.m. 7 p.m. tomorrow is the meeting. You're welcome, April. Thank you. 7 p.m. is the meeting with everybody. You don't have to be in it because you're officially next week is the official start of coaching. I mean, of the challenge, but you guys are all more than welcome to join. Um, I pick, it's like a wrap up for this challenge that everybody's in, but everybody's sliding over anyway. So, and you'll see familiar faces, I'm sure. Um, all right. So everybody have an amazing night. I'm going to end this before it says less than a minute. I'm going to cut me off. You're so very welcome, Lisa. Everybody have a wonderful night. Remember, always be badass, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone. Pray that this recorded.